When humanity made its first interstellar trip to the Alpha Centauri system, it did so with the help of automated and remotely controlled machines beside them. These are of course fancy words for drones and robots. From the first landings to the building of Bridgehead City in the ashes of Hell's Gate, these mechanical assistants have always been at our side. So here in this video, we will explore 10 of the notable robots and drone vehicles used by humanity in Pandora. Let's get to it. The first one, the Hexbot. Formerly classified as Swarm Assemblers, it is a rugged, hexapedal unmanned ground vehicle originally designed for heavy industrial construction. Manufactured by Matanza Arms Corporation, these machines combine industrial utility with battlefield adaptability. Each Hexbot uses powerful electric arc emitters for welding and cutting metal, allowing it to repair infrastructure, breach obstacles or even sabotage enemy equipment. Its six-legged configuration gives it exceptional mobility. Hexbots can scuttle at high speeds across uneven terrain, also cling to vertical surfaces and even reorient themselves mid-movement to maintain stability. One set of legs can be dedicated to gripping and transporting supplies, enabling the Hexbot to function as mobile logistics units within the RDA installations. When used in a security role, their electrical systems double as weapons, delivering disruptive shocks and triggering a plasma self-destruct burst designed to uh, shock nearby enemies. The Hexbot Lite is the smallest and most numerous variant within the Hexbot family, optimized for speed, precision and swarm coordination. Easily recognized by its brown-orange uh, coloration, this mini-assembler excels at fine detailed tasks such as welding, grinding, riveting and even painting, making it indispensable for rapid construction, repairs and finishing work. Too small to regularly haul heavy equipment, the Hexbot Lite instead operates as a high-velocity finisher, darting between larger machines to complete critical tasks before moving on. Its agility is reinforced by priority access to the Swarm Control Protocol. Modular attachment points allow them to use tools and effectors and to be swapped almost instantly, giving the Hexbot Lite remarkable versatility as well despite its size. In both industrial and combat scenarios, these units act as fast, efficient force multipliers as small machines whose impact far exceeds their physical footprint. Number 2. The Hexbot Heavy This is the main workhorse of the Hexbot assembler fleet, built for strength, reliability and versatility. About the size of a large dog, it can carry medium-sized materials and perform most welding and fastening tasks needed for construction and repair. The Hexbot Heavy moves easily on the ground and can also climb the sides of structures and working smoothly even at difficult angles. This is made possible by its insect-like gripping toes and suction devices, which allows it to hold firmly to almost any surface, while its weather-protected limbs let it operate in mud and other harsh conditions. Cameras and sensors mounted on its head helps it stay aware of its surroundings and nearby machines, and its multiple tools and effectors allow it to perform several tasks all at once. To support long periods of work, the Hexbot Heavy also includes a hidden cooling fan in its abdomen to prevent its internal batteries from overheating, which means it is highly effective even at long durations. Number 3. The Hauler Support Bot The construction material Hauler Support Bot is the carrier unit of the assembly family, filling a role similar to a mule or a donkey on a construction site. Larger and bulkier than the light and heavy Hexbot variants, it is built to transport and supply large amounts of construction materials without interruption. Its main task is to keep work teams constantly stocked with essential items such as pipes, fittings, panels, struts, utility components and fasteners. On busy work sites, several of these haulers operate all at once, often surrounded by swarms of smaller assemblers that quickly take the parts they need for their next jobs. The hauler is equipped with a powerful suction grip frame for lifting heavy sheet materials and an adaptable flatbed that securely holds cargo even when moving or working at steep and awkward angles. Number 4. The Big Quad The QX19 Block 3 Big Quad is the largest and most powerful assembler in the Con Dev lineup, which means the Hexbot family, designed to handle the heaviest construction tasks on site. Roughly the size of a dump truck, it walks on four thick reinforced legs while its third pair of arms or limbs can be redesigned into massive lifting arms. The big quad can live and precisely position large building components so small assemblers can weld or fasten them into place. 
its limbs are fully weatherized for harsh environments with optimized sleeves used in extremely muddy conditions and its oversized battery pack allows it to operate continuously for up to 48 hours at a go while also serving as an emergency charging station for smaller bots. Stability is ensured by shock absorbing feet with heavy rubber padding and slip sensors supported by powerful electric motors built directly into the limbs. For safety and awareness, the big quad is protected by a heavy crash bar and equipped with depth sensing and stereo cameras that create a real-time 3D view of its work zone, fitting its role as the older sibling that carries the heaviest loads and watches over the rest of the assembled swarm. Number 5. The Recon Drones The RDA drones are compact, computerized, unmanned aerial vehicles designed to operate in environments too dense for full-size aircraft and too dangerous for humans. Their small size, low production costs, and lack of onboard crew makes them ideal for scouting, surveillance, perimeter security, and close air support without risking human lives. Visually, they resemble miniature scorpion gunships featuring twin rotor blades that allow them to hover in place. These drones are commonly deployed around RDA facilities, also in jungle approaches and high-risk zones where constant monitoring is required. The unmanned targeting drone, the UT drone, is an autonomous attack unit programmed for patrol of a predefined area. Patrol drones, roughly the size of a human, form the backbone of the RDA aerial security. They provide constant surveillance and active defense. Building on this design, the electric drone replaces standard munitions with powerful electric discharge systems, and then, and then the alarm drone serves as an early warning platform, and upon detecting an intruder, it emits a loud alarm to alert nearby forces and summon reinforcements. Number 6. The Robotic Crane The RDA Robotic Crane, also known as the Mobile Crane, the MCRA-220, is a massive unmanned construction vehicle used at the Bridgehead City for building large facilities. It is one of the biggest vehicles at 99 meters long and works alongside construction blimps, hexbots, AMP suits and tower cranes to assemble huge prefabricated power and processing plants. The crane drives itself but also is remotely controlled by an operator from a safe base, using advanced sensors and a computer brain at the front to stay aware of its surroundings. It has two long, extendable crane arms that can reach across wide construction sites, each ending in a handler claw that can grip materials or switch to lifting hooks. The entire vehicle moves on four giant hubless wheels powered by electric motors, making it strong, stable and efficient for heavy construction work. Number 7. The Hellhound The RDA Hellhound is a robotic tracker designed for scouting, reconnaissance and even hunting important biological targets on Pandora. They were built to look and act like a real dog. The Hellhounds copy the size, movement and behavior of canines, including an advanced sense of smell that can let them detect and follow chemical traces from scent samples given by their handlers. They were developed after 2154 and were first used on Pandora in the year 2168 during the hunt for Jake Sully and his family, where they were deployed in coordinated packs just like hunting dogs, and these hellhounds are well armored and tough enough to resist arrows from Navi hunting bows, with their armor only being pierced by heavy gunfire. They have a single red glowing eye that gives them a strong night vision and also infrared sight, makes them dangerous, very dangerous in the dark. For attacking, they use powerful metal jaws that can cause serious injuries but these jaws can often be electrified to stun and capture targets without killing them. Because they are smaller and lighter than AMP suits, many hellhounds can be carried in one Valkyrie aircraft, although it is really unclear if they are still active in the current setting. Number 8. The Rover or ROVR These are remotely operated ground vehicles and one of the very first robots ever sent to Pandora. They were used during humanity's first landings on the moon to explore the surface before people arrived in large numbers. At least three rovers were deployed, dropped from ships like the ISV Bradbury and later the ISV Venture Star in 2084. These robots travel across wide areas of land and send back the first images of Pandora's plants and animals including dangerous creatures like the Dry Horse and the Thanator. The ROVR or rover had four wheels, a strong suspension system for rough grounds and a crane-like arm used for taking close-up images and samples. It was protected during landing by special drop pod casings. As the first machines to explore Pandora, the rovers helped humanity understand the moon's environment and dangers, making them the true pioneers of robotic exploration in this distant moon world. Number 9. The Robotic Bulldozer 
Often called as a Robodozer, the RDA D22 Series 2 remotely operated bulldozer is a huge unmanned vehicle, a machine used by the RDA to clear forests and prepare land for development on this moon world. It first appears when the RDA begins destroying sacred Navi areas to open new mining sites, showing how powerful and destructive it is by clearing everything in sight. At nearly 40 meters long, 27 meters wide, and 13 meters tall, it is one of the largest ground vehicles in the RDA arsenal, built to clear massive areas quickly and cheaply. The bulldozer is controlled remotely from Hell's Gate and later from Bridgehead City using cameras mounted on a tall post and if these cameras are destroyed, well, the machine cannot really move properly because it's blind. It uses advanced sensors like ground penetrating radars and solid scanners to study the land ahead while onboard computers create an efficient plan for clearing and grading the ground. Equipped with a giant front shovel and a rear backhoe, <laughs> backhoe <laughs> and strong metal threads, the D-22 can dig, flatten land, build roads and remove soil for mining and thus it's a real nuisance for the Navi. And then number 10, the sensor probes. The RDA sensor probes, also called mapping probes, are small unmanned ground robots used to study the land on Pandora. Its main job is to scan the ground and map the geology and terrain to help the RDA find valuable natural resources. About the size of a human and moving on four wheels, the probe has a bulky body that holds powerful computers connected wirelessly to large machines like the mobile drill platform Alpha. Special sensor flaps on its sides collect detailed information about the landscape and then what lies beneath it. After finishing their scans, the probes are usually shut down to protect the data it gathers. And so with that, we come to the end of this video on the 10 robots and drone vehicles in Avatar. Now do to hit the like button for support and also for the ones holding their phones in their hands, do hit the hype option to push this content further. Subscribe to be a part of Legion Nutbug. Until the next time, take care, boys.